Hi, this is Nick Coleman with Dragonfly Creative and today we're going to talk about sewing lightweight fabric and a few tips to help you do that. So when we're sewing light fabric, some of the things that tend to happen are that fabric gets sucked down into the throat plate or we get puckers or we get pulls across the fabric. There are a few different things that you can do to negate these little things from happening. First of all, make sure that you have a fresh needle in there that's light enough weight. We need to be sewing that lightweight fabric with an 80 needle or even a 75 or 70 needle. Those are all good choices and I really like using Microtex Sharp needles when I'm sewing with lightweight fabrics. The Microtech Sharp Needle pierces the fabric really efficiently so that you don't get pulls. The other thing that you might want to think about is if your machine has the ability to do it, you can switch out to a single needle throat plate. When that means that it's that throat plate with the little hole in it so that you don't have to do or can't do a zigzag. It's just made for straight stitching. And then the last thing that you can do, which I'm going to demonstrate today, is you can put a piece of paper underneath the fabric that you're sewing to keep that fabric from, one, getting sucked down into the throat plate, because sometimes even with a single hole, a single needle throat plate, it'll still get sucked down in there. So I'm going to show you how to use paper underneath the fabric to prevent that from happening. Let's go. I have a piece of fabric here that has the edge surged already and I searched it in a, a lighter color thread so you can see that. And then I am going to go ahead and I am going to fold that fabric over and I'm folding it over twice just like we would do for a double fold hem. Now it's hard to get that double fold hem to get under the needle and to really get where you want to sew on it. So, I'm going to start by taking that double fold hem, I'm going to grab a pin here, and I'm going to pin the very beginning of that seam. And I'm going to pin it so that the head of the pin is facing towards the rest of the seam. That way, when I get to it, it'll be easy to pull out. Okay, so I've got that pinned. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to put this, I've got a piece of paper towel here. You can use adding machine paper, you can use paper towel, you can use tear away stabilizer, you can use tissue paper. There are a number of different things that you can do. Make sure though that the paper is easily torn after it's stitched. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to allow that paper to lay right underneath my seam and I'm going to make sure that everything is in place and I am going to go ahead and drop my presser foot. I want to edge stitch this so I'm going to stitch along the inside edge of the fabric and now I'm going to go and see how easy that was. We just moved right onto the fabric. We didn't have any issues with the needle poking the lightweight fabric down into the throat plate. And it also didn't bunch up underneath that presser foot like sometimes happens with lightweight fabrics. Now we just keep going and I'm going to sew right down the edge and then I'm going to keep rolling my, my fabric, make sure that it's in the right place. Sew along that edge. Okay, now I've come to the end of my paper. I'm going to raise my presser foot, cut that, and now if we can look at the front here, or look at this paper, we've got this wonderful stitched edge, and then on this side, we have 
paper towel with stitching in it. Now that stitching is going to cause a perforation in that paper towel, so it's going to make it easier to rip. So just by tearing that paper towel along the, the stitch line, we're going to be able to tear out all, and it may take a little doing, and maybe paper towel wasn't the best thing to use, but you can use anything that is going to come out easily. And with this, it might just take a little bit of fussing with a tweezer or two. But you can see basically what's happening here. So I've got all this paper towel. And now I can just pull the extra little pieces out. But as you can see, the hem is laying very flat and nice. It didn't roll, it didn't pucker, it didn't fall down into the uh, throat plate. So this is a really, really useful way to sew double fold hems or any actual seams on lightweight fabrics. It's especially effective with silk chiffons. So don't be afraid to sew those things. Just take a little extra time, a little extra precaution, and you're gonna end up with absolutely beautiful results. This is Nick Coleman with Dragonfly Creative. Thank you so much for watching.